It's uh, 6.45 a.m. Well, 49 a.m. On um, Wednesday, September 23rd. Uh, so, we're starting our vlog once again. I just finished an hour and a half of gaming and meditation. Uh, one kind of leads to the other. and <clears throat> It depends. As it depends For meditation, it depends on where your mind is. It, you can do other things while you're meditating, and it's part of the training to sort of, sort of, uh, while you're doing other things, to always have the mind on the meditation, uh, how, as much as you can have your mind on the meditation. <coughs> I just, my, <coughs> my eyes are a little, uh, crusty right now, so. But the fatigue does get in there, the soreness does get in there. Uh, and in this level, level of fatigue sometimes, this is where you can start feeling and noticing some of the failures in advance of the successes. I know, the, the, the successes, as I said, the progress is a balance of things. It's not necessarily one thing or the other. Uh, it's a balance. Is, is that While you do succeed, there are things that fall off the wagon. There are things that, that don't get done and don't get achieved and are pushed off to a later date. Uh, and this is part of the game that I play. It, it oh. requires this patience. And then this is p part of the practice. And it, it, this is where the meditation comes in as well is practicing this patience, not allowing the nerves or, or your anxiety to, uh, to pair up, to flare up, and cause uh, particular issues because your anxieties will drive you into various different states of, uh, of even anger because you don't, you're not getting what you expect to get. Uh, it, the other state is the state of fear because you, your, your anxiety will anticipate the things that will go wrong or could go wrong, and uh, it prevents you from doing uh, the very thing that, that that you want to do because, and it's not because you've actually failed at it. It's, you, it is, it's the anticipation has created so much fear, so much anxiety uh, that uh, you simply back on and say, "I'm too tired. I'm not going to do this." Because and the thing is, you haven't tried it yet. You don't know whether you would have succeeded or failed at this. You know, because you could have also failed. Or what the experience would be like, because the anxiety and the expectation back to, forces you to back off. And this is something that you create. This is this is something that's created within your own mind. How we perceive things really does depend on whether or not we're willing to try things new, or or whether we allow our fears to get the best of us. We allow our anger to get the, the best of us. Our expectations, do, do, are, are we expecting everything to be easy or everything to be, you know, I'm great at everything? You know, you have this sort of sense of self-esteem, the sense of self that play, puts, puts yourself on, on, on a plateau where you like where you are on that plateau and you don't want to get knocked out, so you don't try things that will endanger your status. And I'm not talking about being reckless, I'm talking about simply exploring the more that there is there. This doesn't necessarily mean that you can't be happy with where you are and sort of be satisfied and, you know, take comfort in that where you are. I'm just sort of saying is that at the same time, while you have this level of comfort where you are, that you see that there is more in that in patience and in time uh, that you may achieve more. Not that you will, but you may. I, I, I would say that, specifically, uh, that uh, in time, depending on how much you are aware, that you will continue to grow. That your understanding of things will continue to grow as well. And this is the nature of exploration, is trying to find that sense where, okay, yeah, my, my, my constant, my standard is this. And for me, my standard... Uh, is watching cartoons, you know, and, and understand that there, there will be another day where I will understand more 
Uh, but it's going to take time. It's, it's, I'm not going to be the best person out there. But I will be happy at what I achieve. It is September 24th, and we are ending the vlog for the day of the 23rd. Uh, it's 5.52 in the morning. And we're now uh, about three weeks behind in terms of our vlogging. Uh, so we've, 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 we've cut the time down, the difference between uh, when we film and when you see this. Uh, it's still sufficient that... Uh, uh, there are certain things I can't say because uh, by the time you see this, <laughs> it would have already occurred because uh, it, it, there's such a gap between the time we film and the time we post. Uh, it's just, you know, it's not close enough to give you to, to say, oh, look out for this, it's coming. Because... Uh, but you would have seen it before. You would have seen it beforehand. I guess. I guess. Uh, my mind is a little off today. <laughs> I'm a little off today. Uh, I should have filmed uh, the end of the vlog about an hour ago at 5 o'clock in the morning, but it's not 5 o'clock anymore. It's 6 right now. I ended up doing the gaming first and doing some of the med meditation. Well, um, seems to be seem to be a little off today for this for this period. It doesn't things don't seem right uh, in terms of the way I feel. Uh, but that's neither here nor there because you know this is the way it is sometimes. You know, well, a lot of times, if you don't have a standard, you know, you know, people are doing bedtime routines or nighttime routines or morning routines. If you don't have a morning or a night. And things start to uh, to meld uh, meld in from one thing to the next thing. Seems one day to the next day, it seems to meld into one another, as if it's no uh, as if it's one long continuous day. But you have certain breaks where you are sleeping. Uh, but even when you're sleeping, because you're a lucid dreamer, you're fully aware of what you're doing. In other words, you you, you behave almost as if you're awake. Uh, then you have other things that. Uh, sort of become your routine. Oh. And when the routine is thrown off, your routine is like, like I think part of the problem was that uh, uh, not last night, well, somewhat last night. Um, I finally made the decision to upgrade Firefox on the media room uh, uh, box. And eh, uh, I knew what it was going to be, and at this point in time, it was acceptable. It is sort of working, but there needs to be there'll probably be another week worth of configure before it becomes back before Firefox becomes my main uh, browser once again. Uh, it just what happens is that it's difficult keeping things syn synced up, and that's the whole issue is keeping the sync keeping everything in sync, everything in order, and making things easier to get through. So sort of like you have like a, you have like a, we we'll call a, a remote where you can actually flip the channels. Uh, that's what I had before in Firefox. I could go to any YouTube channel that I wanted, as long as I had a bookmark and I knew where it was and had things organized, it was fairly easy to get to. Uh, the new one does that as well, but it has issues with the playback. The, the, yesterday, uh, well, the reason why I upgraded is because uh, the new browser, even Dolphin, had problems with, with, with one with the uh, with the audio video, audio visual, uh, visual, uh, visual, uh, visual uh, synchronization. That means that the, 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 you, you'd hear the sound, but it wasn't, or, or like someone talking, but the lips weren't moving properly. In other words, there was a synchronization problem. And both Dolphin and the other browser I was using had these issues, and they had freezing issues, where they'd call the cause the whole device to freeze up, and you have to do basically a hard reboot. Um, that's basically turn the power, power turn the power off, 
wait a couple seconds, turn the power back on again, let the whole thing reset itself, uh, and then go back in and do whatever you were going to do next. Uh, so that was this, that was the sort of the deciding factor in terms of moving up to a uh, new Firefox. So I did that and uh, sort of worked on fixing up the YouTube stroll in there. Uh, because the YouTube stroll hadn't been fully formed. It was there, but it hadn't been fully formed in Firefox. It was still what it was prior to the YouTube stroll. So uh, all that upgrading had to be done yesterday, uh, the, the last YouTube session. And it's getting there. The, the YouTube stroll, stroll, the new one, is starting to form. And it's based off the old one. Uh, but now there are more options that if, let's say, one of the YouTubers don't post every day, or they've skipped some days, uh, you have others that take its place. In other words, there are other places for you to go to. So, again, this is this is the time point in time where if if you if you're in that sense of of asking yourself whether you're worth it or not, this is probably where you wouldn't say that you are worth it because you're kind of feeling kind of roughed up and not so good. So you'd say, well, I'm not necessarily worth it. But the, the whole question of perseverance, are you going to continue going? And the answer is yes, I'm going to continue going. We've been through these rough patches back before. Uh, there are going to be more later on. And <laughs> it's always some, you know, you, I have my successes, but along with the successes, there are always the failures. And as long as I'm happy with the successes, and I am, then the failures aren't so bad because you've had your successes. So that's the perspective. And it's not an issue with them worth no, it's no longer an issue with them worth it or not. It's just I've got enough to keep going. And I think as as you keep going and get up to the next level it's gonna get harder and harder. It's not gonna get easier. Anyways, that's what I was saying, no refunds. <laughs>